So how much money do you make with AdSense on YouTube? That was never my focus. I was always intending on focusing on the business revenue, which is definitely significant. But after a while, AdSense revenue started to become significant too. So I'm gonna show you several examples and tell you the stories of different channels and how much money we make from AdSense. Because it can vary from industry to industry, in this video I'm going to share several different examples of channels that I produce and I'll show you the different amounts of ad revenue that each channel makes. And then make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to show you a way that you can actually make more money with your YouTube channel that will even surpass your ad revenue. Let's dive right in. Every industry is different and depending on what industry you're in, there's a different volume of money spent on advertising to that industry. Check out this chart showing digital ad spending by industry. So we've got retail at the top with almost 22%, followed by automotive, financial services, all the way down to healthcare and pharma and other. Now looking at this list, where do you think parenting falls in? For me, it's kind of hard to say. I would say lower down. Okay, it's lower down on this graph. Where would real estate investing or making money fall in? Well, that's probably up where financial services is. So that's not an exact match, but it's pretty interesting just to think about that different industries have higher ad spends. All right, so the two channels that I'm gonna show you are pretty similar in size, yet there's a drastic difference in the amount of ad revenue each makes, okay? So take a look at this channel. This is Paul Jenkins. He's a positivity psychologist. He talks a lot about parenting and about relationships. This is an extremely valuable channel. It's really making a big impact in the world. We're getting a lot of views as well. And as you can see here, as of this exact date, we're at 211,000 subscribers. So we've got a lot of momentum. Now let's go into the, the behind the scenes, into the analytics and take a look at ad revenue. All right, what you're seeing right off the bat, YouTube likes to show a rolling 28 day view. Okay, so in the last 28 days, this channel has brought in an estimated revenue of $2,636. What I can do is just show you for the last 365 days. Okay, so it's brought in 35,500 and some odd dollars for the last year. Now for a 200,000 subscriber channel, that's actually pretty low. And compared to the next one that I'll show you, you might ask, why is that? Why does this one make such low amounts of ad revenue compared to the next channel? Well, most of his videos that are getting traction are in the parenting space. And ad revenue is dependent upon advertising and advertisers, right? Where are they wanting to spend their money? And this shows me that based upon the number of views, we're getting a lot of views, but yet advertisers aren't spending as much money to advertise in the parenting space. So now let's compare that to Noelle Randall's channel. Okay, she teaches real estate investing, specifically Airbnb real estate. She also talks a lot of other business topics and making money topics as well and very, very similar in size, 204,000 subscribers as of today. And by the time you watch this video, I bet the number will be higher and I have a cool experiment to try. So go right now over and check out Noelle's channel and find out how many subscribers she has and go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Now, just coming over to her analytics, uh, this is a pretty similar number that Paul had for a year, but this was just in the last 28 days. Okay, so just in the last 28 days, $34,600 just for that month. If we go back just to the month of December, $31,300 just in one month for ad revenue. Okay, hold on just a minute. I just noticed you haven't subscribed yet. So go ahead and click that red button. Go ahead. All right, now let's continue. So I really have to emphasize that ad revenue should just be the icing on the cake. Now, when we're talking about $34,000 in one month, that's some pretty nice icing, but I guarantee that her business revenue is much bigger than that because she's generating 4,000 leads every single month because of her YouTube channel. Now, depending on your industry, your ad revenue is gonna vary from the two examples that I've shown you, maybe somewhere in between. But if you've got a business behind your channel, and you leverage your channel to build relationships and then generate leads so that you can provide them the products and services that your business offers, your business should generate way more revenue than the amount of ad revenue that your channel is generating. Now, how do I quantify that, right? At a minimum, I would say you should at least be making 10 times the amount of ad revenue. So if you make $1,000 in ad revenue, you should at least make 10,000 in business revenue, right? You're generating leads and you're making sales in your business. It should be at least 10 times. Most of the channels that I produce actually fall in the range of 100 times. 
So if you're making 1,000, let's just say it's in a month, you make $1,000 in a month from ad revenue, you should be making $100,000 a month in business revenue. I do have one client that I've done the math on and I believe his ratio is about 1,000 times. His channel is very, very niche and so is his business. He doesn't make a whole lot in ad revenue. It's not nothing that we consider significant. And yet he's making seven figures in his business every couple of months just because of the organic YouTube traffic. The question that is commonly asked is can you use paid traffic to promote or grow a YouTube channel and is it worth it? Well, I've got the perfect example to illustrate that this channel right here, John Cristani, I produced this channel for the entire year of 2019. Prior to that, John had used paid traffic to grow his channel. Now he's an expert at paid traffic. He's also an expert at affiliate marketing. And that's a lot of what he talks about on his channel. By the end of 2018, using paid traffic, he had grown his channel to 65,000 subscribers, but it was an empty channel. It didn't really have a lot of engagement. It didn't have likes or comments. Um, it didn't make any ad revenue and it was not generating leads for his business. So we implemented my strategy, my five ingredient formula. And if you don't know that formula, you definitely want to check it out. I'll link to a video right up here. It's how to get a thousand subscribers on YouTube in a day. So watch that video to learn my formula. Okay. So we implemented that formula on John's channel. And by the end of the year, we had grown the channel to 250,000 subscribers. And guess what his ad revenue was in the month of December, right? It wasn't making anything before. A year later, in December, just that month, he made $18,000. If you'd like to know what it looks like to work with me and have us produce your YouTube channel, I invite you to click the link below and to schedule a call and to make sure it's a great fit for your business. I'd love to help you become the next YouTube hero. And if you haven't learned my strategy yet, I definitely invite you to watch this video next. It's how to get a thousand subscribers on YouTube in a day. I share my entire strategy there.